Hello guys, welcome to the English Easier with Eric. In this video, you will listen to some daily English conversations in different situations and places. Definitely, you will learn useful vocabulary, phrases, and improve your English speaking and listening skills. Let's take a look. I have to take it one step at a time. I feel overwhelmed with everything on my plate right now. I get it. Life can be quite demanding. How do you plan to tackle it all? I think I have to take it one step at a time. It's the only way to stay sane. That's a wise approach. Break it down into manageable pieces, and it won't feel so daunting. Yeah, I'll start with the most urgent tasks and prioritize from there. Don't forget to take short breaks to recharge. It's crucial for your well being. You're right. I tend to forget that. I've got to find balance amidst the chaos. Remember, you can always lean on friends and family for support. You don't have to go through it alone. Thanks. I appreciate your advice and listening here. It means a lot. Anytime. We all face challenges, and it's okay to admit it's tough sometimes. Just take it one step at a time, and you'll get through it. I'll do my best. Thanks for being there. Always here for you, my friend. It's easier said than done. You know, I've been telling myself I should start going to the gym regularly. I hear you. It's a common goal, but sticking to it can be tough. Absolutely. I mean, it's easier said than done. I get it. Sometimes the idea of working out sounds great, but when it's time to get up and go, it's a different story. And then there's the whole diet thing. It's a lot of work to eat healthy. No doubt. It's so tempting to indulge in junk food, and meal prep can be a real hassle. Plus, with my busy schedule, finding time for exercise is a real challenge. Yeah, life can get in the way. But remember, it's about making small, sustainable changes. You're right. I need to stop making excuses and start taking action. And don't forget, you're not alone in this. There are people who can help and support you along the way. Thanks for the encouragement. I'll try my best, even though it's easier said than done. I believe in you. Just take it one step at a time and you'll make progress. I have to take the bull by the horns.
You know, I've been avoiding that difficult conversation with my boss for weeks now. I understand it can be intimidating, but at some point, you have to take the bull by the horns. I know, it's just that I'm afraid of the potential consequences. It's natural to be cautious, but if you don't address the issue, it may only get worse. You're right, I can't keep putting it off. I need to confront it head on. That's the spirit. Prepare what you want to say, be respectful and assertive. I'll do my best. It's just so nerve wracking. It's okay to feel nervous, but you'll feel relieved once it's off your chest. I hope so. I appreciate your support. You're not alone in this. If you need advice or someone to talk to, I'm here for you. Thanks. I'll schedule that meeting and take the bull by the horns. It's time to face it. That's the attitude. You've got this. It's a wrap. Well, it's a wrap. Finally. Yes, we did it. Months of hard work, and it's finally over. I can't believe how smoothly everything went today. It's been a stressful journey, but this success makes it all worth it. Absolutely. The team really pulled together, and I'm proud of what we accomplished. And those last minute adjustments we made. Genius. The client is going to be thrilled. They better be. We've put our heart and soul into this project. I'm looking forward to a good night's sleep without worrying about deadlines. Laughing, no more late night calls or endless revisions. It's time to celebrate. I couldn't agree more. Let's plan a dinner with the team to celebrate our success. That's a great idea. They deserve it. Well, it's been quite the journey. But I wouldn't have wanted to do it with anyone else. Same here. We make a great team. Cheers to a job well done. Describing people. Have you met our new coworker, Sarah? Not yet, actually. What's she like? She's really friendly and outgoing. She's always the first to start conversations and make people feel welcome. That's great. It's always nice to have someone approachable on the team. Definitely. And she's also quite organized. She's been streamlining some of our processes and making things more efficient. Impressive. It sounds like she's making a positive impact already. She is. Oh, and she's got this amazing sense of style. You'll notice her by her unique and chic outfits. Sounds like she brings a lot of energy to the workplace. I look forward to meeting her. I think you'll get along well. She's also into hiking and outdoor activities. So you might have some common interests to talk about. That's a bonus. I love hiking too. We might end up planning some weekend trips together. That sounds like a fun idea. Anyway, I'll introduce you to her later when she's around. Sounds good. Thanks for giving me the heads up. I always appreciate knowing a bit about someone before meeting them. No problem at all. I hope you to hit it off. She's a great addition to the team.
Storytelling Time. Hey, do you know what time it is? Sure, let me check. It's 3:45 p.m. Thanks. I need to leave in about 15 minutes for my meeting. No problem. You should have plenty of time to get there. Yeah, I just want to make sure I'm not late. By the way, have you seen my watch? I think you left it on the kitchen counter earlier. I'll grab it for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. I can't believe I forgot it there. Here you go. It's a pretty nice watch you've got. Thanks. I've had it for a while. It's reliable and goes with almost everything. Speaking of time, I heard they're changing the clock soon for daylight saving time. Right. That's coming up this weekend. We'll be springing forward, so we lose an hour of sleep. I'm not looking forward to that part, but I'm excited for longer days. Me too. It's always nice to have more daylight in the evenings. Agreed. Well, I hope you make it to your meeting on time. Best of luck. Thanks, and thanks again for grabbing my watch. Have a good day. Past actions. Remember that road trip we took last summer? It was such a blast. Oh, absolutely. Driving through those scenic routes and discovering hidden spots was unforgettable. That impromptu stop at the lake for a swim was a great idea. And the sunset we caught later that day was breathtaking. And how could I forget the mishap with the GPS leading us to that quirky little town? We ended up having the best local cuisine there. Haha, <laughs> yes. Getting lost turned out to be a stroke of luck. And the pictures we took at that charming cave, they still make me smile. Speaking of pictures, remember that monument we visited? We spent hours exploring the area and taking photos. Definitely. And remember when we accidentally left the snacks behind at the rest stop? We had to survive on roadside diner food for a while. Oh, how could I forget? It was quite the adventure, navigating through those diners and discovering some surprisingly good eats. That trip was a whirlwind of memories. From the laughter to the unexpected moments, it truly was a once-in-a-lifetime experience. It was. And the best part is that we still have those memories to look back on and cherish. Absolutely. Here's to more adventures and creating new stories to reminisce about in the future. Cheers to that! Talking about here and now. How's your day going so far? Pretty good, actually. I just finished a morning workout and grabbed a coffee on my way here. How about you? I'm feeling pretty productive. I tackled a few tasks on my to-do list, and now I'm catching up on emails. That's great. It's always satisfying to check things off the list. By the way, 
Have you tried the new cave that opened down the street? Not yet, but I've heard good things about it. Have you been there? Yeah, I went there last week. The coffee is excellent, and they have a cozy atmosphere. You should give it a try. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll definitely stop by soon. Speaking of new things, have you seen the latest episode of that TV show we both like? Actually, I watched it last night. It was intense. You should catch up if you haven't already. I definitely will. It's been a busy week, so I'm a bit behind on my shows. Anyway, how's the weather outside? It's actually quite sunny today. A nice change from the rain we had earlier in the week. That's good to hear. I might take a short walk during my lunch break then. Sometimes a bit of sunshine can really boost my mood. Absolutely. A dose of vitamin D does wonders. Enjoy your walk. Thanks. And hey, we should grab lunch together sometime this week. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. Let's check our schedules and find a day that works for both of us. Hello, I'm calling to inquire about a patient who was admitted to your hospital earlier today. Sure, I'll be happy to assist you. Could you please provide me with the patient's full name and date of birth? The name is John Smith, and his date of birth is January 15, 1980. Thank you for the information. Let me check our system for any updates on Mr. Smith's condition. I have the details here. Mr. Smith is currently in stable condition and under the care of Dr. Johnson. Is there anything specific you would like to know or any message you would like to relay? I appreciate the update. Could you kindly pass on my well wishes to Mr. Smith? Let him know that his family and friends are thinking of him and wishing him a speedy recovery. Absolutely. I'll make sure to convey your message to Mr. Smith. Is there anything else I can assist you with? That will be all for now. Thank you for your help and for taking care of Mr. Smith. Have a great day. You're welcome. It's my pleasure to assist. Have a great day too, and don't hesitate to reach out if you have any further questions. Introducing nearby locations. Hi there. I just moved to the neighborhood. Can you tell me about any interesting nearby locations worth exploring? Absolutely. Welcome to the neighborhood. There are a few places you might find interesting. First, we have a lovely park just a couple of blocks away. It's perfect for a relaxing stroll or a picnic. That sounds wonderful. I'll definitely check out the park. Any other recommendations? Of course. We also have a vibrant local market nearby. It's a great place to discover fresh produce, local artisans, and delicious street food. That sounds like a place I'd love to visit. I enjoy exploring local markets. Anything else? Yes, there's a charming cafe just around the corner. They serve excellent coffee and have a cozy atmosphere. It's a perfect spot to unwind or meet up with friends. I'm always up for a good cup of coffee. I'll make sure to stop by the cafe. Thank you for the recommendations. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your time exploring the neighborhood and discovering these nearby gems. If you need more suggestions or have any other questions, feel free to ask. I appreciate your help. I'll definitely reach out if I need more information. Thanks again. No problem at all. Have a fantastic time settling in and getting to know the area. Welcome once again. Healthcare.
Hey, have you noticed the healthcare facilities here at the airport? It's quite impressive. Absolutely. They've really upped their game in that department. It's great to know that medical assistance is readily available if needed. Definitely. I saw they have those automated defibrillators and first aid stations scattered around. Makes me feel safer, especially during long layovers. I agree. Traveling can be stressful, and having access to medical help provides a sense of security. And did you hear about the COVID testing center they've set up? It's good for those who need a test before their flight. Yes, that's a smart move. With all the travel restrictions these days, having an on-site testing facility can save a lot of time and hassle. It's such a relief to see that airports are taking passengers' health seriously. Makes me feel like they're truly invested in our well-being. Absolutely. It's a step in the right direction, ensuring that people can travel with confidence knowing that their health needs are being considered. Agreed. Whether it's a minor ailment or something more serious, it's comforting to know that help is just a few steps away. Let's hope this trend continues and becomes a standard practice at all airports. It's a positive change for everyone's benefit. For sure. Now I can focus on my journey without worrying about unexpected health issues. At the fast food shop. Hey, mind if I join the line here? The line at the security checkpoint was crazy. No problem, go ahead. Yeah, I noticed the chaos too. Travel days can be so hectic. Tell me about it. So, have you been to this fast food spot before? I'm starving and need something quick. Yeah, a couple of times. Their burgers are decent and the fries are pretty good too. Awesome, I'll give that a shot then. Gotta grab some sustenance before the flight. Where are you headed? I'm off to Orlando for a vacation. Can't wait to hit the theme parks. That sounds like a blast. I'm actually flying to Chicago for a friend's wedding. Oh, weddings are always a good time. Do you know the couple well? Yeah, we go way back. It's going to be a fun reunion with old friends. Nice. So, any other recommendations in this airport? I've got a bit of a layover. If you're into books, there's a bookstore around the corner. Makes the time fly by. Thanks for the tip. I might check it out. Oh, looks like our food's ready. Enjoy the wedding and safe travels. You too. Have a fantastic vacation in Orlando. Take care. Thanks, goodbye. Goodbye and have a great trip. Dinner. Good evening. I'm so glad we could finally meet up for dinner. It's been far too long. I completely agree. Life gets so busy sometimes, but I'm thrilled we could make this happen. This place looks amazing, by the way. Great choice. Thank you. I heard their food is exceptional, and the ambience is perfect for a relaxed evening. I hope you're hungry because the menu is quite extensive. I'm absolutely starving. I've been looking forward to this meal all day. What do you recommend? Is there anything on the menu that's a must try? Well, their seafood dishes are outstanding, especially the grilled salmon. And I've heard great things about their homemade pasta too. Let's explore the menu together and decide. That sounds fantastic. I love seafood, so the grilled salmon definitely has my attention. And pasta is always a safe bet. I'm excited to indulge in some delicious food and catch up with you. Me too. It's always great to have good food 
and even better company. So, tell me what's been happening in your life lately. Oh, you know, the usual. Work has been keeping me busy, but I recently started taking cooking classes. It's been so much fun experimenting with new flavors and techniques. That's fantastic. Cooking classes sound like a wonderful way to unwind and unleash your creativity. I'd love to try some of your culinary creations sometime. Absolutely. I'd be thrilled to have you over for a home cooked meal. We'll plan it soon. But for now, let's enjoy this dinner and make the most of our time together. Agreed. Here's to good food, great company, and making memories. Cheers. Cheers. I couldn't have said it better. Cheers to a fantastic evening and many more dinners like this in the future. Balancing work and family life. I think we need to have a serious conversation about balancing our work and family life. Lately, it feels like we're constantly juggling and struggling to find a healthy equilibrium. I couldn't agree more. It's been challenging to give our family the time and attention they deserve while also meeting the demands of our careers. We need to find a better balance. I think we should start by evaluating our priorities. What truly matters to us? We need to be intentional about creating quality time for our family and ourselves. Absolutely. It's time to set boundaries and establish dedicated family time. We should carve out specific days or evenings where work takes a backseat and we focus solely on being present with our loved ones. And we also need to learn to delegate and ask for help when needed. It's not healthy for us to shoulder all the responsibilities alone. We should consider sharing household tasks and seeking support from family and friends. I agree. We should be open to accepting help and realize that it doesn't make us any less capable or responsible. It's about building a support system that allows us to thrive in both our personal and professional lives. Maybe we can also explore flexible work options or negotiate for a better work-life balance with our employers. It's worth discussing and finding ways to reduce the stress and demands on our time. That's a good point. We should advocate for ourselves and communicate our needs to our employers. It's important to find a work environment that values work-life balance and supports the well-being of its employees. Ultimately, we need to prioritize our family's happiness and well-being. Our time together is precious and we must make a conscious effort to cherish and nurture our relationships. I completely agree. Let's make a commitment to each other and our family. It won't be easy, but with open communication, mutual support, and a shared vision, we can find the balance we need to thrive in both our work and family life. Weekend Adventure Making plans for quality time. Hey, sweetie, the weekend is almost here. Do you have any plans or ideas for how we can make the most of our time together? Hi, mom. I was thinking it would be fun to go hiking and explore a new trail. The weather is supposed to be great, and I know you enjoy nature too. That sounds like a wonderful idea. Spending time in nature and breathing in fresh air is always rejuvenating. Let's pack some snacks and make it a memorable hiking adventure. Awesome! I'll make sure to research a trail that suits our level of difficulty and offers beautiful views. I'm excited to embark on this little adventure with you. I'm excited too, my dear. It's important to connect with nature and create lasting memories together. We can also bring a camera and capture some stunning photographs along the way. That's a great suggestion, mom. We can document our adventure 
and create a photo album or share them with our family and friends. I love that idea. It's a fantastic way to preserve our special moments and share our experiences. Besides hiking, is there anything else you'd like to do during the weekend? Well, I heard about a new ice cream parlor in town. It would be great to indulge in some delicious ice cream treats after our hike. That sounds like the perfect reward for a day well spent. Let's definitely treat ourselves to some sweet delights and enjoy a well-deserved ice cream feast. I can't wait, Mom. It's going to be a fantastic weekend filled with adventure, nature, and mouth-watering treats. I couldn't agree more, my love. I cherish these moments we share, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to create beautiful memories with you. Let's make this weekend one to remember. Have you ever experienced any culture shocks? Hey, have you ever experienced any culture shocks while traveling? Oh, definitely. Cultural differences can sometimes be surprising and eye-opening. One instance that stands out is when I traveled to Japan. Japan is known for its unique culture. Could you share a specific culture shock you encountered there? One of the biggest culture shocks for me was the concept of etiquette and bowing. The level of respect and formality in daily interactions was something I had to adapt to. It was fascinating to observe how deeply rooted it is in Japanese society. That sounds like an interesting experience. Were there any other instances of culture shock during your travels? Absolutely. When I visited India, the vibrant chaos of the streets, the overwhelming diversity, and the sensory overload were all quite different from what I was used to. It took some time to adjust, but it was an incredible cultural immersion. It's amazing how travel can expose us to new perspectives. Have you found culture shocks to be positive or challenging? It's a bit of both, actually. While culture shocks can be initially challenging and make you step out of your comfort zone, they also broaden your horizons and make you appreciate the diversity in the world. It's a valuable learning experience. I couldn't agree more. Embracing and understanding different cultures can be truly enriching. Thanks for sharing your experiences. You're welcome. It's all part of the adventure. Cultural shocks remind us that the world is a fascinating and diverse place. Happy travels, and may you continue to have memorable encounters. What's for breakfast? Morning! I was thinking of making some pancakes. How does that sound? Ma'am, that sounds delicious. Can we add some blueberries to them? Sure thing. I also bought some maple syrup yesterday, so we can pour that over them. Perfect. I'll start brewing some coffee while you make the pancakes. Sounds good. How do you like your coffee? Just black, please. I like it strong. Got it. And do you want any eggs or bacon with the pancakes? No, just the pancakes are enough for me. All right, no problem. I'll start cooking now. Thanks, I appreciate it. By the way, did you hear back from that job interview you had last week? Yes, I did. They offered me the position. Congratulations. That's great news. When do you start? Thanks. I start in two weeks, so I still have some time to prepare. Well, we should definitely celebrate. Maybe we can go out for dinner tonight. That sounds perfect. Let's make a reservation at that new sushi place downtown. Thank you for cleaning. Hey, it looks like you did a great job cleaning up the kitchen. Thank you for cleaning. 
No problem, I just wanted to help out. The kitchen was starting to get a bit messy. I know, I've been so busy with work lately that I haven't had much time to clean up. I really appreciate you taking care of it. Of course, happy to help out. Is there anything else you need me to do around the house? Actually, yeah. I've been meaning to clean out the garage for a while now, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Do you think you could help me with that? Sure, I'd be happy to. When do you want to get started? How about this weekend? I have some free time on Saturday morning. Sounds good to me. I'll be there bright and early to help out with the garage. Thanks again for cleaning up the kitchen. I don't know what I'd do without you. No problem at all. I'm always happy to lend a hand. How was your day? They tell me that I'm never gonna make it. They want me to do something that can make Hey, how was your day? It was good. Thanks for asking. How about yours? It was all right. Work was busy, but I managed to get everything done on time. That's good to hear. Did anything interesting happen? Actually, yes. I had a meeting with my boss and he offered me a promotion. Wow, congratulations. That's amazing news. Thank you. I'm really excited about it. It means more responsibility, but also a higher salary. Well, you definitely deserve it. You work hard and have been with the company for a long time. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm looking forward to the new challenges. So, when does the promotion start? I have to give my answer by the end of the week, but the official start date is in two weeks. That's great. We should celebrate this weekend. Yes, we should. Maybe we could go out for dinner or something. Sounds perfect. Let's make a reservation at that new Italian restaurant downtown. Can you please pass the salt? you please pass the salt? Sure thing. Here you go. Thanks. So, what did you think of that movie we watched last night? To be honest, I wasn't a big fan. I found it a bit slow and predictable. Really? I actually liked it. I thought the acting was really good. Yeah, the acting was fine, but I just couldn't get into the story. That's fair. I guess everyone has different tastes when it comes to movies. Definitely. Speaking of taste, this pasta you made is really delicious. Thanks, I'm glad you like it. I tried a new recipe I found online. Well, it turned out great. What's in it? It's a tomato base sauce with some Italian sausage mushrooms and onions. Yum, it's really flavorful. You're quite the cook. Thanks, I enjoy trying out new recipes. Would you like some more? No, I'm good for now. But thanks for offering. Anytime. Do you want to watch another movie tonight? Sure, but let's pick something more action-packed this time. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Good morning to you too. Yes, I did. Thanks for asking. How about you? I'm feeling a bit groggy, to be honest. I couldn't fall asleep until late last night. Oh no, that's too bad. Maybe you should try some chamomile tea before bed tonight. It always helps me relax. 
That's a good idea, thanks. So, what's on the agenda for today? Well, I was thinking of taking a walk in the park this morning. The weather is supposed to be nice. That sounds great. Can I join you? Of course. The more the merrier. We can grab some coffee from the cafe on the way there. Perfect. I could use some caffeine to wake me up. Let me just change out of my pajamas first. No problem. I'll wait for you in the living room. How are things going? Hey, how are things going? Today is so bad for me. I lost the bracelet that I have just bought yesterday. I like this one very much. I had to wait for three months to buy it cause it is in the newest collection of this year from YL Luxury. Now, if want to buy it, I have to pre-order it on their website and wait maybe for another three or five months. Oh, that's too bad. Do you remember where you put it? We could find it together, I'll help you. No, I think it came out of my bag when I was on the bus. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do to help? Can you help to do the gardening this afternoon? Sure, when do you start? Around 3 p.m. or you can come to my house earlier and we can sip hot tea. Sound great. I'll go. Okay. I'll prepare everything and wait for you. Ah, uh, my mom said that she needed me to bring you some apples. I'll bring them to you this afternoon. Thank you. What are you going to do now? I'm going to buy some food and then I'm going to the bus station. If you wait a minute, I can go with you. Sure, that would be great. Where do your parents live? Hi Lily, are you going home this weekend? No, not this weekend. I have too much work to do. Where do your parents live? My father lives in New York. How about your mother? My mother lives in Texas. They are divorced. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Is your father still working? No, he's retired. Do you have any family here? Yes, two of my cousins live here and my aunt and uncle live about 45 miles from here. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have two brothers who live in New York and a sister who lives in California.
Do you see them a lot? Not as much as I'd like to. Usually just on holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. Putting things in order. Daniel, can you help me clean things up before we go? Sure. Where should I put this cup? Which cup? The black one. Put it on top of the table. How about this fruit? Oh, that goes in the refrigerator. And those pencils? What should I do with them? Bring those upstairs and put them in the bedroom. How about this pen? Give it to me. I need to use it. What do you want me to do with that paper over there? You can throw that away. I don't need it anymore. The trash is full. All right, then please put it in a bag and take it outside. Now what? I think we're finished. Can you please turn off the lights and shut the door? Sure. Making a doctor's appointment. Hi, I'd like to see the doctor, please. Do you have an appointment? No. When would you like an appointment? Is today possible? Yes. Today is fine. What time would you like? As soon as possible. My stomach really hurts. Please wait a moment. I'll see if the doctor is available. Okay. Sorry, he's with a patient right now. It's probably going to be about another 30 minutes. Would you mind waiting a little longer? No problem. May I see your insurance card, please? Here you are. Thanks. That's going to be $25 for today's visit. Really? I didn't think it would be that much. I know how you feel. I'll pay with cash. Thank you. Would you please turn on the heat? It's really cold in here.
It is cold in here, isn't it? I'll take care of that in a moment. Please have a seat and fill out these forms. Bring them back to me when you're done. I brought you an apple. Hey, how did you get here? I rode my bike. Are you serious? Why did you do that? I could have picked you up. That's okay, I didn't want to bother you. I know you don't like to wake up early. That's so nice of you. Aren't you cold? No, not really. I wore a coat. What's in the bag? It's a special type of apple. Oh. Can I try one? It's very sweet. I put sugar on it. These apples are really good. They were only 30 cents each. Aren't those more expensive than the ones at the supermarket? Yeah, they're more expensive, but they taste better. Did you buy any other fruit? Well, besides the apples, I bought oranges and bananas. Mail. Hey Jane, did you get the mail yet? Yes. I picked it up this morning. There were a few bills and a letter from my mother. There was also a lot of junk mail. Was there anything for me? I don't remember, let me check. Yes, it looks like there's something here for you. Who's it from? The American Embassy. My hands are dirty. Will you open it for me? What does it say? It says your passport is ready. You can pick it up anytime. Do you think you can drive me there? Sure, when? I think we should go get it now. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll go. Is that okay?
I am here for my job interview. Fine, have a seat. May I get you some water or coffee? Sure, thank you. I'll get that for you right now. Thank you. What a nice office this is. Yes, could you come in now? I am going to take you back to meet your interviewer. Ordering fast food. Welcome. What would you like to order? I would like to get a double cheeseburger. Would you like everything on it? I would like everything on it. Thank you. Do you want any fries? Let me get some large curly fries. Can I get you anything to drink? Sure. How about a medium Pepsi? Is that everything? That'll be all. Thanks. You're welcome, and your total is $5.48. Thank you. Here you go. How to find a job. Could you help me figure out how to look for a job? We have lots of options. What type of job do you need? I want to work in an office. Do you want to work part time or full time? I want to work full time. We have binders with local job listings. Or you can make use of the computers. OK. I am confused a bit, but I am sure that I can use it out. If you make an appointment with a job counselor, they can also provide you with a lot of information. Do you want to see a counselor? No, I don't think I need to do that. Well, you know that this job center is here for your use, so help yourself. Good luck. Job interview. Good morning. I am here for my interview. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Mr. Gotcha. Have any trouble finding the place? No problem. So why don't you tell me why you are interested in changing positions? Unfortunately, our company is shutting down due to the economy. What would you consider your strengths? I am probably best at researching for marketing purposes. What is your biggest weakness? I tend to get bored easily and so love to keep myself challenged. We have a position where that could work out well. Preparing for a job interview. Could you help me try and figure out how to get ready for my job interview? The most important thing to do is to make sure you know the company and what services or products it provides. Do you know all about them? Yes, I pretty much understand the company. Well, after you've done your research, you have to decide whether the company is casual or formal. Have you decided what they are yet? Yes, I've been observing them. When you are choosing what to wear, keep all of that in mind. Have you chosen what to wear? Already have something to wear. 
I would always be ready to go shopping with you. Should we talk about other basics? I'm ready to think of other things. You need to make sure you arrive on time, smile, be pleasant and friendly, look the person in the eye, and answer all questions to the best of your ability. You'll do great! Past simple tense, how was your day? Welcome home, Dad. Oh, Emily. How are you today? Fine. Good. And how was school today? Really fun. Good. And what did you do? We made things. Like what types of things did you make? We made books. You made books? Okay. And what else? We, we made paper rabbits. You made paper rabbit? Okay, and what did you need to make your paper rabbit? What kind of supplies did you need? We used crayons, papers, glue, and we had to follow directions. Well, good. And, uh, what did you do after school? We went home, played games. And did. Mom said you went to the junior high school. I rode my bike in the tennis court. Did you go by yourself? I went with the whole family, and we went with Nathan, Sarah, Rachel. You went with your cousins. And my mom. Well, that's great. Well, let's get ready for dinner. Okay. Please, subscribe to learn more English with my channel.